Hey there, Mercedes here from prettywebs.com and today I'm gonna show you how to make lace brushes inside of Procreate. If you're a Photoshop user and you wanna learn how to make lace brushes in Photoshop, I'll go ahead and leave a link down to another one of my videos in the description and also up at the top. These types of brushes are used for hems in clothing or borders and things like that and that's how I would use it. The reason I didn't cut these in half is because when you have this circle shape like this, so I'm gonna just, you know, tap and, so I have this circle shape here, and when I flow, or you know, when I kinda go in circles, I'm never gonna lose that shape and it's always gonna stay together. So even in Photoshop, it's always best to keep that circle instead of cutting these in half as an edge. So hopefully that made some kind of sense. Let's go ahead and get started. And I just want to show you how I set up the canvas. I don't know if you can see it, but I am working with symmetry. It's not working because I have it on a new layer. So every time I add a new layer, I actually have to come back in here to the little wrench. I'm going to go to canvas and then I'm going to make sure that drawing guide is on and I'm going to edit my drawing guide. I have to do this every single time I add a new layer. Just in case yours isn't working or you know you try to make multiples in one document, you have to go in and do this every single time. For the opacity, I keep mine kind of low. You can bring it up. I am using Symmetry, so, so you have all of these options right here. I'm going to be using this one, Symmetry. And I got all of these lines by coming here to Options and using Radial. I have rotational symmetry selected and assisted drawing selected. Now this right here just refers to the thickness of the, the guide. I don't really need mine that thick. I'll go ahead and leave it just, you know, so it's visible. I don't want to confuse it for part of the design. So I usually keep it really low. I'll go ahead and keep it a little bit higher this time. And then if you want to use different colors, you'll just come up here and change the color there. I'm going to just leave this one black and then click done. So I'm gonna come in here and using the monoline brush inside of calligraphy because it's just this plain circle, which is what I want. I'm gonna leave this at 100% the brush size. So again, I'm working with that monoline brush inside of the calligraphy. That's the default brush inside of Procreate. And I'm just gonna start here in the center. I have the brush all the way up to 100%. So it's gonna be pretty thick. And I'll just start here in the center and just kind of come out here. And then I'll start like right here and come out this way. And I'm just holding it to make it more circular. Um, it doesn't have to be that way. You can have like teardrop shapes or triangles. Uh, it can be sharp. It doesn't really matter. Just as long as it's gonna cover this entire canvas it's just kind of playing around, doodling, drawing until you get something that you like. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at that. And now I'm just gonna come back in and thicken these areas here. I hold down the Apple Pencil so that it I get smoother lines. It doesn't have to be as smooth, you know, lace. Sometimes you have a handmade lace and it's just not gonna be perfect. Uh, but if you want that really smooth style, you can always just hold down the pencil and it will smooth it out for you. I think I'll make this this area right here just a little bit thicker. Okay, so that's those are the broad strokes that we're going to be using for this one. Now I'm going to bring it down my brush size to a very small 1% and we're going to work on details like the lattice work. I'm just going to start drawing out these lines. You can see how my lines are not perfect. If you want them perfect, you know, you can always do that, but I don't want this perfect because it's supposed to look like thread. It's going to be loose, you know, so I'm just going to draw them out and then I'm going to come back in the other direction and then you can bring up the size a little bit, maybe to, uh, I don't know, 30% or so, something like that. And then come back in here and draw these little knots. And I know it seems like a lot of work, but um, actually you're only doing a fraction of it because we have this symmetry tool doing the majority of the work for us so that's really nice so hopefully I didn't miss any but that's the first layer I'm gonna go ahead and bring the brush back down to that 1% come back in here 
draw these out, make these a little more spaced out, and then we'll do this last one. So I'll bring that up and then just add these little knots. These are going to be smaller. Okay, now I'm going to come over here to the eraser tool and I'm going to make sure that the eraser is still on that same monoline brush. So I'm here in calligraphy. I'm choosing that monoline brush and it's pretty big right now. Uh, we're going to come in and just put down some dots here on these really thick areas. Uh, I'll probably bring this down to about 50% or so and then do these ones. So just laying down dots at this point all the way around and you can use any shape you want this is just you know the simplest shape i can think of right now so just the basic dot shape maybe i'll add one here so this is my basic lace shape that i'm going to be using to make this brush and now that i have it complete i'm going to come here to the little wrench and i'm going to click on add under actions and choose copy canvas and i'm going to go into another let me just go ahead and clear that. So I'm going to come in here just for testing, just to or just to give you examples. But I'm going to come into the brushes, and I'm going to press the little plus icon right there. That's to create a brand new brush. The first thing that I'm going to do is come into Shape, click on Edit right there, go to Import, and then Paste. So we just pasted our brush in there. Now we have this white background, and it's going to actually register the white and not the black. So what I need to do is invert this and I'll do that by tapping on the screen with two fingers and that's going to invert the image. So the brush itself is white and the background is black. So I'm going to go ahead and click done. So we have that brush there now. Now I'm going to come here to stroke path and I'm going to bump up my spacing to about 50% or so. You can have them where they're not overlapping at all, but just kind of joined together. Um, but I'm going to leave mine overlapping a little bit, so I'll leave it at 50%. And then I'll, I'm going to take my streamline all the way up. From there, uh, I'm going to come here to Apple Pencil and I'm going to take the opacity down because a piece of lace is not going to be transparent like that. So definitely make sure that opacity is down and then click Done. This brush is actually best uh, for use as a border. So what I usually do is I have like, say this is a piece of fabric or something, this black uh, layer right here. And underneath I'll add another layer and I'm going to go into the, the brush that we just created and add that here in the back. I'm going to hold down the brush just to get it as straight as possible. And then I'll come here to the little arrow and I can move that around and adjust it. I have a keyboard, so I'm going to just nudge it over. But you can just easily drag it over. And you see how you get that, that nice lace trim there. So if you want to download this brush, uh, it will be available on my website. I'll go ahead and leave a link down in the description for you. If you have access to the lab, I have a few other brushes that I'll be giving you. So it'll be a lace brush pack, a, a mini pack. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, thanks for watching.